I don't care if you just started learning JavaScript today or if you've been programming for years, this is something I guarantee you've messed up time and time again. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the idea of passing functions to other functions, essentially callbacks. And you may think that you already have this completely handled and you know how this works, but I guarantee you in this video, I'm going to explain things about functions that you've never even thought about before. And it's going to really reshape how you think of functions. And the first thing we think about just by looking at this code, we have a simple function called print. We pass it a value and it logs it out. As you can see, it's working just fine. It's printing out hello world. But what is print? What even is that print thing? It's a function, right? But what happens if we were to log out print? We just call print like this without actually calling it. Because with a function, when you use parentheses with that function, that's you calling the function. It's executing the code inside of that function. But what happens if you access a function without actually calling it? Well, if we log that out, you'll see we get the actual definition of that function being printed out to our screen. But it's not super useful to look at it this way because this is really the same thing that's in our code. So if we use console.dir instead of console.log, this is going to allow us to print out some more interesting information. So if we go back to the console here, you can see that now we can expand our function. And something you notice about this function is it actually looks a lot like an object. If we print out an object and give it some properties, it's going to look almost exactly the same. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I do a simple console.log for an object, we'll give it a name of Kyle and we're going to give it an age of 26. And now if I save, you can see that this object down here and this function right here, they look very similar when you print them out to the console. And that's because a function is really just an object in JavaScript. It's just an object that you can call by using parentheses on it, like we've done down here and passing it different arguments. So the important thing to take away from this small discussion is that a function is really just like an object. And an object is just a variable that you can pass around. I can pass this object to a function. I can call the things on the object. I can change the object. I can do whatever I want with it. Same thing with a function. It's just a variable. I can pass that function anywhere I want. So now let's say I create another function. And this function is going to take in another function. I'm going to give it another function and do some code on it. So let's just say use callback is going to be what this does and it's going to take in a callback. This callback right here is just a function. I'm going to pass in a function called callback. I'm going to call that. I'm going to pass it in a value. In our case, we're going to pass in the value of hello. So now let's say I want to use this use callback function. I'll say use callback and I need to pass it in a function. Well, the function that we have is called print. And now what's happening is I'm saying, hey, use callback. It's going to take in a function called callback and it's going to pass it the text hello. And in our case, we're passing the function print into that use callback function. So when I save, you can see it prints hello out to the screen. The way that this is working is when I call use callback, I'm essentially creating a variable called callback, which I'm passing print into. Doing this without using a function would look just like this. It'd be like if I said const print equals, I'm sorry, const callback equals print, and then I called callback with hello. This bit of code right here, does the exact same thing as calling the function. And that's just because when you call a function, all you're really doing is mapping one variable to the variable in that function. So I'm mapping print to the name callback, and then I'm using callback right here. And the reason this works is because like I said before, a function is just a variable. I'm just redefining it to this variable here. When I save, we get the same output over here. Now this is something that confuses a lot of people when they're programming because they don't really realize that functions are just like everything else in JavaScript. They're just a variable, essentially like an object. Most people think of functions as something completely different. They're a new thing that works different than everything else. But in reality, a function is just like a normal object. It works exactly the same. The only difference is that you can call a function with using the parentheses and pass different parameters to it. That's the only difference. I can even set values on a function. For example, I could say print.high equals test. And then I can just say console.log print.high you'll see it prints out test. I can store things on it just like it's an object. And if I do that little console.dir trick, you can see inside of here, we have that high being set on our print function. So a function, like I said, is just like an object, except for that you can call it. But people get confused with this. If we go back to the previous example here where we had this callback, a lot of people would do this. They pass in print with the parentheses after it because most people think that if you have a function, it needs to have parentheses after it. But this isn't going to work. When I save, we're going to get a bunch of errors. And that's because when I call print, what's happening is it's executing the code inside of print. It's console logging the value, which is nothing. That's where we get undefined right here. And then it's taking the return of calling this function, which in our case, we have no return. So it's the same as return undefined. And it's passing undefined for our callback. 
and then we're trying to use undefined as a function and that's where we get this error callback is not a function because it's undefined. In order to bring this back to the object example, let's just say we have an object called person and we're just gonna give it a name. We'll just set to Kyle like this. And then let's say that we wanted to pass a person to a function. And inside of here, we'll just console.log person. And we'll just call this print person, just like that. Don't even worry about this print up here. So if we save, you can see it prints out the person name Kyle. Makes sense. Well, would you ever come in here and say person.name and expect it to still print out the full person? No, it's going to print out just the name Kyle. That's essentially the same thing as if this was a function and you put the parentheses afterwards. That's calling the function. When it comes to this person object, we're calling this property, getting this name property, when in reality, all we want is the actual person object. So think about it as if it's a variable. Do you want to call the function and get the result of that function? Or do you want to actually pass the function along? Most of the time when you're dealing with callbacks, you want to pass the function along. And this is so common actually, that you can pass callbacks as anonymous functions. So if we just go back here to where we had use callback, what we could do instead of defining print up here is we could just define our print function down here in line. And I'm going to be using an arrow function for this. If you're unfamiliar with arrow functions, I highly recommend you check out my video linked in the cards and description on them. But essentially we can pass a function that has no name and it's going to do something. In our case, we'll just say console.log value and this is going to take in a value. We can get rid of print up here, save. And if we just make sure that we change our code back here, so it's going to call the callback with a value of hello, you can see it prints out hello. So we can do an inline function like this, this is very common that you're gonna see all the time, or you can just pass a normal function around. Most people understand that this works just fine, they're used to this, but when you see someone passing a function name, that's where all the confusion comes in. Just remember, a function is a variable, and you can pass it around just like any other variable. Now, if this video was able to help you understand how functions and parameters worked, I highly recommend you check out my JavaScript simplified course. It covers this and so many other topics that most people ignore when teaching JavaScript that just make your life so much easier and makes it more likely that you're going to get a job. So I highly recommend you check that out, link down below.